Hi all, welcome to yourinspirations.com. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Brioche Knit Cowl. Now this is made in Karen and Pantone yarns in two colors. You get a braid in two different colors and then you follow the color chart to make a two color brioche stitch that gives you a little tiny cowl that's very simple to knit and packs a huge punch from its very cool color changes. So we're going to go very briefly over this stitch and then you can get going and make this cowl for your very own. To get started, you'll need two braids of Karen and Pantone. We used Purple Pops and Strawberry Chill. You'll also need a US size 10 or six millimeter circular knitting needle, 16 inches long. Now I'll warn you, I'm using a 29 in the video because I couldn't find my 16, but you want a 16, it will be much nicer. Um, or size needed to obtain gauge. And gauge is important on the Karen and Pantone patterns because you wanna make sure that you don't run out of yarn. So you at least have to be in the ballpark of what we're getting when we made the pattern. You'll also need a stitch marker to denote the beginning of the round. And we're going to make this very cool two color brioche. So let's get started. Now, the very first thing that we want to do is unwrap the braids of the Karen and Pantone yarn. Now, if you're unsure how to do that, we have a little video for you that you can watch. Um, but after you get your braids unwrapped, you want to decide if you're doing version one or version two. And here we have the photos, one and two. I'm doing one in this video because I felt like it, but you can do whichever one you want. Now, here are my braids. And you might notice for version one, they actually go in order <laughs> from light to dark. So that's the other reason I chose version one. It was easiest to figure out which one is which, but you can find the little numbers for each individual color on the label. So what you're going to do is work in sections. You'll use the first color in color one with the first color in color two, then the second color in color one, but the second color of color two, third, fourth, fifth. So if you look at the versions laid flat, it's two colors, then two colors, then two colors, then two colors, then two colors. So that gives you sort of a visual of what you're doing. The stitch itself is just very basic brioche knitting and it's not that hard to do. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to take uh, color one, and uh, cast on 72 stitches, place marker. That's just to mark the beginning of the round. Join to beginning, working in round, being careful not to twist stitches. Um, and then it's knit one, slip one, purl wise with yarn in front, yarn over, all the way around. Now I am using a uh, 29 inch needle instead of a 16 because it was close. <laughs> So uh, just do as I say, not as I do. Definitely a 16 inch would be easier to maneuver, but uh, I didn't have one in front of me. So I'm using the 29, but don't think that you have to. I really think a 16 would be better. Although while we're talking about needles, do make sure that you're getting gauge. And the reason we care about it, although sometimes it really doesn't matter for cowls and scarves, is because I don't want you to run out of yarn. If you're not getting um, at least very, very close to the gauge that we got, you could have not enough yarn to get the project done. So I'm going to, uh, I'm near the end of the round, but it's the same all the way over. So it's knit one, slip one purl wise with yarn in front. So I'm bringing the yarn to the front and I'm slipping one purl wise. Now the next action is a yarn over, but you're already halfway there because the yarn's in the front. So you're gonna take the yarn over the needle and it's okay if it lays very close to the stitch that you have just done. So yarn over. So knit one, slip one purl wise with yarn in front, yarn over, already halfway there. Knit one, slip one purl wise with yarn in front, yarn over, knit one. So this is a brioche knit stitch. and you are setting up the work so that we can keep going. So that was knit one, slip one purl wise with yarn in front, yarn over, you're already halfway there, knit one. So it goes very quickly. So we're coming up on the stitch marker, which I used to denote 
the beginning of my round, knit one, slip on purlwise with yarn in front, yarn over, knit one, slip one purlwise with yarn in front, yarn over. So I am at the end of the first round and I can tell because that's where my stitch marker is. For this so I'm at the beginning of my second round and I've slipped my marker. So with color two shown directly be below color one in the chart, um, and again, I'm just gonna leave a four to six inch tail so I can weave it in later, probably closer to four inches because I don't wanna run out of yarn, but um, just make sure there's enough that you can weave in the end. So on the second round, we're going to slip one purlwise with yarn in front. So I just brought the yarn to the front. There's my slip one purlwise, yarn over, now in this case, the yarn over is gonna come all the way around because the next thing I'm going to do is purl two together. And the purl two together, I have the slipped stitch, which is this straight up and down one, and the yarn over, which is sort of on an angle. So this is purl two together. Repeat from asterisk around, right? So we're going to slip one with yarn in front. Now my yarn is already in the front because I just made a purl stitch. Yarn over, bring the yarn over the needle and all the way back to the front, because we're purling now. Purl two together, which incorporates the yarn over and a slipped stitch. Slip one purlwise with yarn in front. Yarn over all the way around back to the front. Purl two together. And I'm going to do that all the way around to the end of the round, at which point I'm going to drop color two and pick up color one. Slip one purlwise with yarn in front, yarn over, purl two together. Coming up at the end of the second round, once again, it's slip one purlwise with yarn in front, yarn over, bring it all the way around to the front and purl two together, which will incorporate one slipped stitch and one yarn over. So now I'm back to the end of the round and it says drop color two, pick up color one. So I'm going to take that to the wrong side of the work to do my dropping. This is not intarsia. It doesn't matter what, uh, what yarn goes where as far as twisting or anything like that goes. The, uh, the working yarn should be sitting there waiting for you. There it is. And we're just gonna keep going. So we're on the third round. We're back to color one. It says knit two together, slip stitch and yarn over. And now you'll notice at this point that they are two different colors. See, and that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what we want in a two color brioche. So knit two together, and it reminds you that is a slipped stitch and a yarn over. Slip one purlwise with yarn in front. So bring the yarn to the front. Slip one purlwise, yarn over, take the yarn to the back. Remember, it's already halfway there. Knit two together. Slip one purlwise with yarn in front. Yarn over. Knit two together. Slip one purlwise with yarn in front. Yarn over, etc. And we're going to do this all the way around. And let's see, we're just starting to get the two colors of stitching here. You see, let me bring it a little closer. See, there's my one color and there's my other color. Now it's all one color at the bottom because that is the very beginning where we started the color work. So I'm going to finish this round and I'm going to put just a few more rounds on it so you can get a close up look at what the stitch is going to look like. But honestly, this is all there is to it. At this point, you are just going to uh, repeat the last two rounds, which is the second and third round, eight times more, at which point you'll drop these two colors, break them off and pick up the next two colors. And again, we got all that information on the chart. So let me just make you a couple more rounds so you can get a close up look at the stitch pattern and then we'll move on our merry way. I'll be right back. I just wanna take a closer look at the stitch. So as you can see, I'm getting columns of color. My one color is here 
and my other color is in between. And that would be a little more accentuated if I was knitting a little tighter, which I think I would do. Again, I'm using a 29 inch needle because I didn't have a 16 inch sitting around. Um, so I think my stitches are a little big because I'm trying to accommodate the length of the needle. The other thing that is cool about two color brioche is it is reversible. So if you didn't want to see this color, you could flip it around and see this color. I mean, obviously you're going to see both colors all the time, but um, you really can wear it either way once it's all finished. So that is honestly all there is to this. Again, it's very simple stitching with a really terrific color impact. So I hope you enjoyed knitting along on the Brioche Knit Cowl. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. And we look forward to seeing you again here real soon. And please don't forget, like the video and subscribe to the channel for fresh yarny content weekly. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.